Hi YouTube. Um, today my I'm gonna be unboxing my new balsam. It just came in from Amazon, and this is the one I received yesterday. It's hanging pretty well. It's kind of getting a little bit more play, and it's okay though. Um, I I made a review for that one already. Two of them, so you can go check it out. And even though it's a trainer, it kind of cut me. It's pretty sharp on the tip. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. So, and there it is. My Loctite to Loctite the thing little bench. And my bench made knife company. Been balance on. Wait, let me focus this. Benchmade 62T balance on trainer. Benchmade, Benchmade, and some stuff about Benchmade. And a little handle with care thing. So all you do is select me open it by sliding it out and comes with the manual use your care manual then a nice case a little nice box is soft yep and then pouch it says bench made and pull that out it's in the press bag and here it is so it is not spring loaded. Uh, it's not coming out. There we go. That locks on really tightly. It's really heavy. Well, not really heavy, but a lot heavier from this. And it's pretty greased, I guess, because it's flipping really smoothly. Says it has a Benchmade logo right there. Boss on 62T. Uh, 4, 4, 440C Benchmade USA. So it's a 440C um, metal blade. Uh, these are steel, I, I'm guessing these are steel. Feels like steel. And yeah. This is pretty nice. Let me. See it flips smoothly. And. The latch doesn't get caught in the blade. Which is good. And then. You have to really squeeze it. To. Get it closed. Cannot get closed right now. There we go. And it, it's really hard to pop back out. Oh, someone dropped it. I don't know if I should lock tight these, but they said to lock tight it, so I might do that. Even though this is supposed to be the Benchmade 62, it's a lot alike the 67 and 63. Except for the blade, of course. And it is dull, a trainer, and it will not cut you at all. It's just a thick piece of metal. And then, yeah, and you can see this one's actually just dull. Unlike this one, the one I cut myself with, it is actually sharpened a little. I don't know if you can tell, but see it's really thin. Like this one. So I don't really have anything else to compare it with, so just stick this together. They are about the same same uh length, the blade. It's a little bit longer on 
the um, what's it called Regal Flipper Trainer. It's not made, but I mean it's not actual real trainer. It's a uh, Regal styled, and yeah. I cannot flip well with my left hand. This one is a lot smoother and heavier. I like this one a lot more. The feel is really nice. On the, on the play. Of course it's not going to have a lot of play when I first open it. But I'll show you in, anyways. See. And the play when it's closed. Not a lot either. So, um, I don't really know what these are called, the handle, but you can't really see it in the camera, but it is silver and grayish. It is, um, how do you say it? It has a really nice color. I like it a lot. It's a lot more shinier than this one. Well, not that shiny, but a little bit shinier on the handles. And, and it's not, okay. A little bit more. This one, actually this one's a little bit more shiny. But, um, of course the blade is still kind of sharp. Watch again, stab through the box. I showed you in the review already, but, and, and, yeah, see, it can actually penetrate it. This one, it will not because it's rounded. And, yeah. So, I'll probably Loctite these, because I don't really have enough money to get another one. So, I, I'm probably going to Loctite these two. And when it's closed, um, you can, it's, this one's barely, no, actually it's the same. It's kind of the same. And, yeah. And when my Benchmade um, 40T arrives, I'll do a comparison with those two since it's more light but yeah so please comment below saying if I should lock tight these I don't know if I should this one it doesn't really look like I can whoops can I focus doesn't really look like I can um lock tight it well I probably could but it just why is it all blurry now? And this just doesn't look like it can be locked tight in. This one, it should be able to be locked tight in because I've seen someone done it before. But I'm not used to seeing these type of screws. So, we'll have to see. But so far, it is pretty nice. Let me just do a little flipping demonstration. And I'm not really that good, so. Uh, it is pretty hard for me to um, flip it with my bandage on since it's slippery. But the grip is not that slippery at all. Even though it looks like it is, it's not. Unless you're wearing a bandage, of course. <laughs> well, the bad thing about these are you you don't really know you're not you don't really fear of getting cut, so you don't really care when you're playing with it. You're just playing around with it, so people prefer to get a real one. Cause look. I'm holding bite handle on a real one, and I do this. Wait, 
see, it would have cut me really badly. But since it's a trainer, it's not going to cut me. So, that's, that's a really good reason. I mean, that's a good thing to have if you're um, young and or you don't have money for it. This costed about 200 somewhere. And oh, and also the um, the pivots, I think that's what it's called. That's um, that's on this one, like in the middle, to not to get stuck in here so the blade doesn't fly around. They use hidden ones, which are inside here instead. See, it doesn't. Let me show you. Um, see, there's like, there's nothing there to stop the blade, but this one does. See, but there is. It's just that it's hidden. It's on the inside of it, and these are sandwich, sandwich construction. Um, so it's not really good. And if you watch my, if you watch, if you watch my other video. Do not get this one. It's sharp and it, as you can see there, it bends. This one does not bend. And it is not sharp at all. So I really prefer this one. Um, and you may complain in the comment saying, um, stop getting trying to get a real live blade because then you will know if you mess up because you'll cut yourself and that's the problem some people don't have enough money even for the cheapies and they don't want to get cut they just want to mess with it for fun um, and also what do you call it? Some are younger viewers, so don't don't um don't go around telling people get yeah, live blade because they might be younger and yeah and yeah well I have a review for this one already and this is the one for this one so hope you like it.